Hi, I'm Dr. Dane Happeny, physical therapist at Healing Motion Physical Therapy, and I'm gonna to talk to you about our sickness, wellness, fitness continuum. It's basically a great continuum to measure your overall health and kind of where you're at with that. Uh, and so now I'm going to go ahead and describe in more detail what that looks like for your overall health. So this is a nice visual of the sickness, wellness, fitness continuum that has been adopted by CrossFit amongst us and other individuals in healthcare. Uh, and it just gives you a nice uh, measurement uh, to kind of measure your quality of health, whether it's closer to sick, well, or fit. Uh, some of the biggest things we look at is blood pressure, cholesterol, uh, resting heart rate, as well as some other variables. And now we're gonna look at each of these individually in more detail. So first we're gonna look at the sickness column. And so these are just metrics that we know lead to risk factors like cardiovascular disease. And so that's when you have the high blood pressure shown, a higher resting heart rate, and the higher cholesterol numbers. The C-reactive protein is just a um, sign that potentially the heart is spilling kind of some protein. Uh, and then also blood sugar would be on there of an HA1C over six. And so we're looking for those things to be better than that. One more note on the sickness parameter is that this isn't necessarily a fair name per se. It doesn't mean that you're necessarily sick. It just means you have more risk for things that we would associate with sickness, such as heart attacks, etc. Uh, if you're here, you probably have a lot of things that are hard in life that have kind of contributed, and it just really takes baby steps to get out of this position, and we will talk about that next with wellness and fitness. Moving on to wellness, these are all the values you've seen to have in quotes, good health. The blood pressure, 120 over 80. The resting heart rate, closer to 60. A uh, healthy HDL to LDL ratio. Uh, healthy uh, HA1C blood sugar levels. Uh, so that's great to have this, but we will talk about how if we move it towards the fit fitness level, uh, how much better our overall health can be. So great starting point. We would love to get beyond this if possible. Finally, we have the fitness perspective of health of which we would all like to aspire to. A nice low blood pressure, resting heart rate, really good cholesterol levels. And this, more than you being able to do the things you would think someone fit can do, it just has you so healthy, you actually have to go through well um, to actually get to sickness. So it just sets you up to be in such a good spot for overall health if you're able to work towards this fitness category. So I hope you find that helpful. The intent is not for anyone to feel shame of where they're at on the sickness, wellness, fitness perspective, but just to identify where you're at, recognize you probably want to get a little further along and to do that. And then yes, this won't account for things like cancer and those things that come out of our control. This doesn't help us control our health, but it certainly helps us influence it. And so the more we can work towards that fitness, the better. So get out there, keep the heart going, and work towards that fitness uh, continuum.